please hit that subscribe button. Hey everybody. Better suited to win the Stanley Cup this season. If you are new to the channel, the Washington Capitals, the Boston Bruins. Locked out and he scores! And we're live. Hey everybody, it's Sunday, which means it's time for NHL Games of the Week, where I look at the upcoming week in the NHL and pick out what I think will be the best and most entertaining games to watch. We got a really good week coming up, especially towards the end of the week. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday are outstanding. Obviously, playoff races are in full swing right now. Uh, the season where it's March already. Can you believe it's already March? We are coming down to the final month of the NHL season. And uh, there's going to be a lot of great games to determine division battles and who gets into the playoffs and who doesn't. Before I start, I just quickly want to remind everyone to please hit that subscribe button and follow along for all of my hockey content this season. And uh, give this video a like if you haven't already. Those thumbs up really go a long way and help out a lot. So let's get into it here. Starting with today, Sunday the 1st, and we've got Philadelphia versus New York. Afternoon NBC game, game of the week. Uh, I will be live streaming this game uh, in just about three hours now. Um, fantastic matchup here. The Rangers have come all the way from a decent amount back in that Metro division to being just a couple of points away from, from a, uh, a playoff spot here. So this is a huge game for the New York Rangers. Philadelphia is trying to catch Washington for the division lead right now. Um, that they're only a few points back. So this is a huge game in a lot of ways. Oh, and on top of it, it's a massive natural rivalry to begin with. These two teams have been rivals forever. So uh, that's the, you know, this is as good as it gets, guys, in, in March in an NHL season. Philadelphia, New York, huge playoff implications and a massive rivalry matchup. Tomorrow, Monday, we've got Edmonton versus Nashville in a huge Western Conference game. Uh, obviously, Edmonton trying to maintain their playoff position. Nashville right on that line of bubble team, if I've ever seen one, um, right on that bubble as far as the, uh, the wild card out west goes. So that's a huge game with massive implications, obviously, and uh, it's going to be a real tight one, I think, uh, in Nashville. Tuesday the 3rd, we've got Boston versus Tampa Bay for the first time this week, and I will definitely be live streaming that game on a Tuesday night. Boston, Tampa, top two teams in the Eastern Conference right now, top two teams in the Atlantic Division. Um, just absolutely incredible matchup there, obviously, uh, to see. You know, these, these games, when they play each other, are going to play a huge role in who wins the division. Boston has the lead right now, but Tampa can catch right back up if they win in their games against each other. So this is an absolutely massive game. Uh, also on Tuesday, we've got Edmonton versus Dallas, a really big Western Conference game there between two playoff teams that should both be going to the playoffs this season. Um, Edmonton in the Pacific, Dallas from the Central, but both in solid playoff position right now. Um, so, so that should be a really fun game and a good matchup. Wednesday the 4th, we've got Philadelphia versus Washington. Yes, those two teams are fighting for the division lead in the Metropolitan Division, and depending on how until then goes, that, uh, that game on Wednesday could be for first place in the Metropolitan Division. Obviously, Pittsburgh's really struggled here over the past uh, few games. They're on a six-game losing streak. Philly has passed Pittsburgh now, and uh, they're coming for Washington only a few points back, so that could be a massive, it will be a massive game there, but it could be legitimately for first place. Arizona versus Vancouver also on, uh, on Wednesday night. Arizona fighting for their playoff lives. They have fallen out of playoff position. Vancouver really struggling recently as well. A little more safe as far as the playoffs go, but really struggling here recently in their last 10 games or so. So huge game there between two teams that desperately need wins. So divisional matchup, needing wins for both of these teams. I think that's going to be a huge Really, really great game to watch. Uh, Thursday the 5th, we've got Boston versus Florida, and this is a massive game for the Florida Panthers in Florida. Uh, they are falling. They are falling behind. They are losing ground to Toronto, um, and their, their playoff chances are getting lower and lower with every loss. They have to find ways to win some big games. Thursday against the division-leading Bruins obviously is a huge game for Florida. Uh, they've, they've got to find a way to try and pull some points out of that one. 
um, but or their, their playoff hopes are slowly or quickly going down down the drain here. Washington versus the New York Rangers, another huge game, particularly for the Rangers who are trying to get into a playoff spot, trying to make a wild card position this year. Um, you know, Washington obviously leading the division right now. We'll see if by Thursday they still are, but right now they're in first. Uh, and, and the Rangers, you know, that's obviously a huge matchup for them, divisional game, and, and they, New York needs every single point that they can get to try and get into a playoff spot. Carolina versus Philadelphia, also on Thursday. What a massive matchup in the Metro on Thursday night. Carolina, um, you know, right outside of playoff position right now, desperately trying to get in. Philadelphia, divisional opponent, going for first place. Pretty safe as far as a playoff position goes, but that Metro is so stacked this year that you know they're all right, still pretty close to each other. But this is a huge game for the Carolina Hurricanes, who desperately need points to try and get into a playoff spot. Friday the 6th, we've got Vegas versus Winnipeg. Uh, Winnipeg, again, is one of those bubble teams out in the West who really, really needs every win that they can get. And uh, obviously a huge game against the Pacific Division leading Golden Knights who have been absolutely on fire here recently. 8-1-1 uh, one one in their last 10 games. They've been absolutely fantastic. Uh, Winnipeg needs a big win in that game, and that should be a really good one. Arizona versus Calgary, two teams fighting for wild card spots, both from the Pacific. Divisional game, obviously huge playoff implications on the line there. Um, that, that's just absolutely massive. And Colorado versus Vancouver, uh, also on Friday. Um, you know, Colorado is a team going for the division lead. Despite all the injuries they have, they're still right there with St. Louis near the top of the Central. Uh, going to try and take that division lead away. Vancouver, like I said, has been struggling recently. They uh, they really need to start picking up some points and, and get back to their winning ways. And then finally, Saturday the 7th, got four more to talk about. Carolina versus the New York Islanders. Again, div playoff implications all around here. Um, you know, huge wild card implications. R Islanders in a playoff spot right now. Carolina just outside looking to get into the postseason. Washington versus Pittsburgh, two of the top teams in the East, two of the top teams in the Metro. They are they are going to be fighting it out again. They seem to be playing every weekend now, uh, which is fantastic, and it's always an, a tremendous game when they do play, and that's going to be a huge one. Nashville versus Dallas out West. Uh, absolutely massive game there, particularly for the Nashville Predators, who, like I've said, are desperately trying to get into a playoff spot or maintain a playoff spot and uh and they are they, they're right on that line they are the ultimate bubble team along with you know winnipeg and arizona and calgary that that race out west is absolutely nuts right now very very close very tight but uh nashville's gonna have to pick up a big divisional win there uh and, and try and you know get into securely into a playoff spot and finally, Tampa Bay versus Boston again, play for the second time this week, Saturday night. Also plan on live streaming that game. That one, uh, that stream should be a big one. Going to have, uh, I think, do that one with a bunch of my friends. That's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, but Tampa Bay at Boston, second time playing this week. Obviously, everything still applies. Fighting for first place. Fighting for the first place in the league, not just the division. Two of the best teams in the NHL. Uh, should be a lot of fun to watch, and it's always a great, great matchup when those two teams meet up. So there you have it, guys. Obviously, I just talked about a ton of games. We are in crunch time now in the NHL season, and there are awesome matchups throughout the week. Huge playoff implications, huge divisional battles going on. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and there's just so many great matchups. There's so many tight playoff races in every division right now. It's absolutely insane. The month of March is going to be awesome. It's the final month of the NHL season. And then April, next month, where you get playoff hockey. And let me tell you, I don't want to wish away the rest of the regular season because it's going to be a lot of fun. But I cannot wait for April to come and us to actually get to watch playoff hockey again. Uh, there's nothing like it, and it's going to be absolutely incredible. So with that, guys, like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media. All those links are down in the description. If you'd like to further support the channel, the links to our Patreon and merchandise store are down in the description as well. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys soon.